Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's second video. We're going to have a look at the ECM Dev Extended model for today's uh, second video. So this is the 30 day slash 6 weeks look ahead uh, for uh, the UK and also for the rest of Europe as well. And uh, I'll get on with that for you in a moment. Just say that first video today was our 6M upload. And we've got a 10 to 14 day with all of the regular features which will be coming up later on this afternoon. If you can, please like, share, subscribe to my videos. And share it with Matt. We are very, very close now to uh, 13.4 thousand subscribers. So just got to, got to put on around another 6 or 7, I think. So if you can, give us a sub and uh, get friends and family willing to subscribe as well. That'll be absolutely great. And, uh, and we'll get to... Uh, 13.4k uh, very, very soon now, hopefully. Thank you so much. Uh, right, so please like, share, subscribe. Thank you so much. Thank you so much to eastamdf.int for supplying the charts. And um, we'll do this then, shall we? So we're going to start off with the uh, week one mean cell pressure anomaly taking us from the 23rd to the 30th of May. So this week we'll have low pressure across much of northern Europe with high pressure out to the west, southwest of the UK and Ireland, and then lower pressure running through the Mediterranean, and also into some eastern parts of Europe as well. It's a little bit mixed, but particularly so for northern Europe, where we're under the areas of low pressure in from the Atlantic and the Norwegian Sea. The week one 500 millibar height anomaly from the Arctic and North Pole view down shows the above average heights running into northern Europe, uh, below average heights, should say, running into northern Europe with the above average heights pulled out into the North Atlantic. Uh, it's also a bit of an upper level reach across east and southeast parts of Europe as well. That will bring some very warm weather there, I would have thought, pulling the air up from uh, Africa. But in the north of Europe, it does look quite unsettled with, with low pressure in the ascendancy. All uh, right, so this is the uh, week one temperature anomaly. The coming week uh, looking like this. Which is something you're looking pretty hot. So down towards Spain, Portugal, and into Mediterranean looks uh, hot there. And then particularly so from Italy over the Asiatic into the um, Asiatic coast of the Balkans and down towards uh, Romania, Greece, Turkey, significantly hotter than uh, average through there. But the uh, anomaly it's like uh, three to six degrees above average in those quite deep red colours. Um, so, so very warm across southern parts of Europe. Also being above average in the far north of Scandinavia, Norway and Sweden, into northern Finland as well, probably. Uh, otherwise, so it's a bit cooler this week, actually. So Ireland is still coming out slightly above average, but generally, like the UK, northern France, uh, low countries and Germany, are uh, slightly below average. Uh, then we've got southern Scandinavia also slightly below average. So Denmark, southern Sweden and uh, Norway uh, cooler than average you there. And then it gets even cooler as we go further east into the eastern part of Europe from Poland towards uh, Russia. We see that uh, temperature anomalies there are uh, becoming coming quite cool. You know, 3 to 6 degrees below average across these far eastern parts of, of Europe. So it's definitely a cooler week for much of the north, but it is quite a hot week down in the south. Precipitation-wise this week, we're looking like this. Most areas are coming out quite dry, but there are a couple of exceptions. So Scandinavia uh, is wetter than average, especially so, especially so uh, for southern parts of Scandinavia, so southern and central Norway, southern and central Sweden, uh, down to Denmark, um, uh, above average precipitation there. Also a little bit above average with the precipitation across these Baltic Sea uh, states, so uh, parts of Lithuania, Latvia, Estonia are coming out with above average rainfall. I mean, down into central part of the Med, uh, actually it's a bit wet over, some thunderstorm going on. Uh, around the central bowl of men in the week here through the Balearic Islands and then towards Corsica and Sardinia. These are the exceptions though. Otherwise, most areas are quite dry, right way from Ireland and Portugal in the far west all the way over towards the Black Sea. Uh, many areas are coming out dry and average in the uh, coming week. Right, week two will go from the 30th of May to the 6th of June and the high pressure goes north then. So that ridge is starting to become a northern blocking feature heading up towards Greenland and Iceland with the trough of low pressure in across northern parts of Europe. We also have some lower pressure across the south of Europe as well. Uh, probably pulling in some quite cold or chilly anyway, northerly winds I would have thought 
into this uh, northern part of Europe between the, the blocking area of high pressure around Greenland and Iceland and the Trough of Low over Scandinavia. The 500 millibar height is normally looks like that. So uh, again, we've got the Trough of Below, average heights here across northern Europe, the above average heights in the Atlantic, heading up towards Greenland and Iceland, starts to bring the wind in from more of the north, or possibly even uh, northeast. Right? So it's reaching through the Mediterranean, though, so that should keep uh, a lot of uh, warm weather going, I would have thought, through the Meg. Let's have a look at week two temperature anomaly from the 30th May 6th of June. That's how it's looking. Getting cooler across most parts of uh, northern Europe, so cooler average temperatures are backing into the west, heading in towards the UK, into Ireland, perhaps into northern France as well. Uh, and, of course, they extend from the east and the northeast Europe as well. So, so much of northern Europe goes uh, cooler than average there through the first week of uh, June, something we have not seen for a very long time. Conversely, though, southern Europe still looks hot. The heat building through North Africa in Spain and Portugal, so looking very hot there. Uh, much of the Med also looking pretty hot. And even into this south, uh, central part of the Med, I should say, looking pretty hot. And even into this southeastern corner of the Med, sort of Greece, Turkey, yes, the temperature anomaly there is above average as well. So definitely like a north-south split uh, with, with Northern Europe cooler, Southern Europe looking uh, really quite hot. And then precipitation of the week two. Look like this. So most parts of uh, Southern Europe, especially for Mediterranean, back to Spain, Portugal, up to France, uh, looking drier than normal. The southeastern part of the Med also looks quite dry. Um, out to the west and the northwest, it's driving an average through there. So much of the UK and Ireland, much of France still coming out uh, dry. The central part of Europe here, from like Germany towards Ukraine, I suppose, uh, uh, looking close to average with, with precipitation. Could still be a little bit unsettled. Wettest weather, though, is in the far northeast of Europe, again, from the Baltic Sea towards um, northwestern parts of Russia. That's where we have uh, above average precipitation. Right, week three, it's going to be the 6th through to the 13th of June. How's this one looking? Let's have a look. So, uh, higher pressure is still there to the west and to the northwest of uh, Europe. So, in the Atlantic up towards Greenland, still with this trough of low pressure around Scandinavia. It looks like the ridge is possibly trying to extend through here, and then across southern Europe, probably going to be the heat low uh, around Spain and Portugal. Uh, that's our 500 millibar height to normally look. So, we've got a, uh, this uh, looks a little bit more straightforward. Then. So, we've got a ridge through here in the North Atlantic, Mid Atlantic Ridge, trough of low pressure across the north and northwest of Europe, and then another ridge actually extending up the east side of Europe. So this ridge is going to pull hot air up the east side of Europe, probably. This trough of low pressure will pull cool, cool air into the north and to the west of Europe, probably. Temperature normally looks like that. So still cooler than average across much of the north and the northwest. First half of June, therefore, coming out with below average temperatures on this ECM extended uh, forecast. It's a quite a significant change what we've seen from this model over previous weeks though. So it's, ju and it's just one run so it might be off on a bit of a tangent but at the moment it's looking like quite a cool first half to June for much of northern and northwestern Europe. Conversely though like southern Europe still looking hot so very hot through parts of Spain and Portugal especially in land. Uh, that extending up into uh, some parts of France as well. We've got the central part of the Mediterranean looking really quite warm or hot. And then most parts of eastern, southeast Europe, including the eastern Med, also looking quite hot. In between, there's a swathe of near normal temperatures or no signal, which are covering much of France up towards the uh, Russian border. And uh, then we've got the precipitation anomaly for week three, which looks unsettled in the north. So again, we've got Scandinavia and many of those Baltic Sea states uh, coming out um, wetter than average, above, uh, above average precipitation. It's dry through the west uh, of Europe. So again, France, Spain, Portugal, most parts of the Med looking pretty dry. Much of the eastern Med from the Black Sea down towards Greece and Turkey, also looking rather dry. And then we've got uh, average or no signal through the central parts of Europe and also for the UK and for Ireland too. Definitely most unsettled and coolest in the north, driest and warmest further south. 
Week 4 will be the 13th to the 20th of June. Um, then we begin to lose the signal, so it's starting to go a little bit mysterious, as it often does by week 4. Uh, looks like some lower pressure beginning to appear in the North Atlantic, up towards the Norwegian Sea. Norwegian sea. So this might be implying like a bit of a return of the Westerners into Western Europe. But to be honest, it's, it's such a weak signal that there's not really much much to go out there. Uh, 500 millibar height anomaly looks like that. So again, much weaker signal. Clearly we've got some higher pressure across southern and southeastern parts of Europe. That probably keeps the heat going in the south. Otherwise, further north, a little bit mysteri mysterious, um, might be hinting at like a return of a more Atlantic westerly type flow. The temperature anomaly looks like that, but cold average temperatures are beginning to disappear, uh, or the signal for them beginning to weaken, I suppose, across no across northern Europe. Meanwhile, though, much of southern Europe actually having above average temperatures again, and that warmth is extending, extending a little bit further north, possibly getting towards northern parts of France, for example, possibly getting up towards southern Germany and Poland as well, but particularly focus again uh, down through the Mediterranean, so again from Spain, Portugal, over towards uh, Greece. And then precipitation looks like that, and it is a weakening signal. Uh, so, it, but it seems to be a little bit driving average to Russia. Southern Europe may be hints of being slightly wetter across Northern Europe. But again, the signal is, is definitely weakening there uh, as we go into the fourth week. Right, that's the 30 day look ahead done. That's the 30 day outlook. Uh, let's have a look at week's 5 6 data before we go because why shouldn't we? There's a chance that they might as well have a look. So, week 5 will be the 20th to 27th of June. Means of pressure. Showing not much of a signal at all, to be honest. 500 millibar height on anomaly for week 5. Again, doesn't really show much of a signal either. It's all looking very, very mysterious. Um, temperature anomalies look like that. So that seems to have been a bit warmer than average across Western Europe. And, of course, across Southern Europe as well. Possibly hints of being a bit cooler in the far north still. Uh, but it is a very, very, very weak signal that we have there. And precipitation-wise, again, not much of a signal to be uh, working with either. Although it does look a little bit drier than uh, across these western parts of Europe, especially France and uh, Spain and Portugal. We might be seeing the Azores high beginning to start ridging into west of Europe. Maybe, possibly. Uh, and then uh, we go to week 6, which will be the 27th of June to the 4th of July. And again, there's not much to be working with there, is there? So I'll just put in a big old question mark. I mean, it looks a little bit more unsettled, perhaps, in these eastern parts of the train, But very, very, very weak soon for week 6. Um, and look at that, 500 millibar height, and I'm nothing doing there either. So let's just put in... Put in um, question marks again. Temperature anomaly for week six. Don't look like it's getting warmer across western parts of Europe and remain quite warm across the south. And the precipitation anomaly finally, uh, again, possibly just going a little bit drier for these western parts of Europe. So it's late in June to the, to the beginning of July. We might be seeing a signal there for things to get warmer and drier across western. Europe, but it's a very, very, very weak signal. And um, before then, certainly the first half of June is actually shaping up to be quite cool and maybe a little bit unsettled across much of northern and northwest Europe in particular. Right, okay, so that's it for your 30 day uh, look ahead. We'll do it all over again next Tuesday. Remember, we do look at the ECM DF extended. Uh, on a Friday or a Saturday as well, usually on a Saturday, actually now. Um, and that just focuses on the UK and Ireland, though. Uh, so the next extended look ahead book for Europe is going to be uh, on Tuesday uh, next week. Right, that's it then. We'll be back later on with the center. Remember, it's just a snapshot of what Molly's shown as well. So it could look very different next week. We'll see. Uh, that's it then uh, for uh, this video. We'll be back later on with your center 14 there. It's going to include all of the features. So come back for that one then. But for the 30 day look ahead for UK and for the rest of Europe too, that's all for now. And thanks for watching.